hi guys welcome to the another tutorial of another tutorial here we're gonna discuss about how to make loops this is how a loop works it just keeps on counting 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 and counting but uh, in, if I use a normal counter I need to keep pressing that plus button to make this thing so I don't I don't want to do that it's like let it go on by itself I don't want to be like just uh, pressing that button so i just made a switch i made a led <laughs> don't think that i just joined them and it's done there's a big circuit behind not a big actually it's awesome circuit and this is the circuit now many people now i have explained this to many others but they haven't understood in the first attempt itself so i'm gonna also explain this circuit twice so let's see we have a and gate a not gate delay gate wires counter okay now how it is going to work is the not gate at the start when there is no current flowing it that is when the switch is off the not gate actually converts zero to one uh, if you have seen my logic gates i have actually explained what is zero and what is one zero is a low value and one is a high value that is how the binary digits work actually so the not gate so when the wire doesn't have any current that is when the wire is at zero the not gate converts that zero to one and gives the left hand side of the and gate one so the and gate has one on the left hand side and zero on the right hand side that is it has a high input and a low input but and gate gives out a high input only when both its inputs sorry and gate gives high output and both of its inputs are high so uh, one out one input is high and one input is low so the AND gate is not going to work that's it when the, I switch on the current what is happening is the NOT gate okay uh, the NOT gate's high value will be there for will be a high value for a very short period of time okay by the time the uh, the other high value will come from the switch directly to the switch as you can see here it is connected to a wire through block and directly connected to AND gate so it will come out through the switch and therefore the AND gate will give a high output which will tick the counter or will in increment the counter by one let me explain you this part again uh, using something I just want something which can be point out just check out okay as you can see there is a small dot here so i'll explain you using this so you can see there this not gate actually has a high value to the left hand side of the hand gate because the current is not flowing in the wire because the switch is off switch is here where i'm pointing now the not gate has given a high value or a one on the left hand side of the hand gate and this side is actually zero so overall the AND gate gives no current on the upper side ok now another now what happens when I switch this on <coughs> sorry uh, the AND the NOT gate uh, 1 is still there actually it is still present it hasn't vanished to 0 yet because the wire doesn't flow that fast to me this game so it's still 1 and even this has been 1 so the net output goes to the one and it takes the clock it increments the counter sorry not the clock counter and you can see the display value now the other end of the other wire goes to the goes through up of this and then goes to the delay gate now what does the delay gate does it basically stops the current for a moment and then let it go this allows uh, not immediate incrementing like if I don't don't apply this the incrementing will be really really further you cannot even see anything so the delay gate actually helps us to see that the numbers are getting oops so you can see the delay gate and the delay gate has again the wire attached to the not gate now what happens 
the output given by the AND gate is high okay so this high output goes 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 and it reaches to the NOT gate now the NOT gate has the property that it converts low to high high to low now this NOT gate getting on high current will turn out to low now this turns low this is high but this is low so therefore the AND gate will give a zero or low current upwards due to which no incrementing is done now this zero again flows through this and this zero reaches here now this zero gets converted to one one and one incrementation then comes to radiate one zero no incrementation zero one incrementation and this is how this loop works got it guys if you haven't understand i'll explain you again i've got the grip to how to explain this at the start the start is something which is disturbing you start when i switch the current on this is one this had a zero current before here and the current hasn't reached here yet so this is yet zero so this is yet one and one and one the one will go up it will increment the counter other one will flow through this wire and it will come here one one will get converted to zero zero one no current here then zero flowing through this again zero okay this here it was one zero here it was one so zero and one no current then zero is flowing zero here it came to zero again zero again one one and one current will flow and this is how this entire loop works this is really simple actually uh, uh, yet best it's really basic and uh, i don't have an updated version of survival craft yet uh, but if you just check out uh, we have an adjustable delay gate in the uh, newest version in which you can even adjust the timings in which i'll recommend you to adjust time in 0.4 to 0.5 seconds if you want the counting to be done per second like incrementation per second so just a small tutorial on this and next tutorial we'll start we'll make something else and then in the next we'll start with the memory bank thank you for watching the video make sure you help make sure it helps you enjoy making enjoy doing subscribing thank you